Hey, and welcome to PC Guys Off Grid Cabin, where there's always something happening because the work's never done. I've been working on my solar equipment and making some modifications that I'd like to show you today. I went out and I bought myself a uh, one of these reliable Chinese uh, power inverters. It's a 24 volt model. Let me uh, bring you over and have let you have a look at it. That's uh, it's 2,500 watt, and it's been interesting so far. I don't know if you can see that the uh, power up there uh, gives a reading on it: 27.8 volts, which is working pretty good. We're using four. Duracell golf cart batteries, or each one of them six volts. Have them uh, in a string there to give us 24 volts. We're uh, using a Schneider Electric PWM controller there, hooked up to four 230 watt solar panels. Gives a little over 900 watts of solar coming in. Now with this new setup that we're running here, these bat batteries have been fully charged just about. Well, today they was fully charged by 12:30 in the afternoon, so that's good. But I'm also a little concerned about the amount of. Drop that we're getting at night with it because it dropped all the way down to 24.9 at one point, and I'm not really sure exactly what the percentages is as far as how much of a discharge that we're getting. But I'm not really, sh and so I'm not really sure how that's going. So what I've got to do is get me a, one of the little control boxes that goes with this charge controller to monitor the uh, batteries and what's going on with them, so that we can take and uh, figure out how much of a discharge we're getting at night. I mean, we're not actually running a whole lot on it right now, other than a a few lights and a uh, refrigerator for the most part so I'm not really sure how that all is working out the other concern I have is every inverter that I've ever dealt with has ex some sort of a cooling fan on it and from what I understand these are no exception except I have yet to hear a cooling fan kick on on it now I thought that the cooling fans just ran all the time on them, but I could be wrong. So next time I'm here in the cabin, I'm going to bring me a smaller screwdriver because I don't have anything that will fit the screws on it. I want to open this thing up and take a look inside of it. I kind of wonder if maybe when they assembled it, Maybe somebody just didn't bother to plug in the uh, cooling fans on it or something. But I'm putting my hand on it and it don't feel warm and there doesn't seem to be any adverse effects to it. But I'd like to find out, you know, I'd hate to take and smoke this thing uh, right out of the starting gate. You know, these uh, Chinese inverters ain't exactly known for being reliable. Play on words. So we'll we need to look into that in more detail and find out. And I want to do some research. On another subject, I have a trail camera up at the front of the uh, where, uh, the entrance coming into the place. And I picked up on there a vehicle that really made me suspicious. There was some guy, he comes up, 
gets out of his vehicle and was kind of rummaging around. I don't know what he was, but he had some kind of company logo on the on the door. And so I'm going to take and try to look up who this company is and try to figure out just exactly what this guy was doing. No, he shouldn't have been uh, messing around up there at the, the front gate, but I need to look into that and see what's going on with it and if I figure out something with it, I'll post another video. Let everybody know exactly what I found out about this guy. I mean, obviously he shouldn't have been there. And there's plenty of signs up there that says no trespassing. So, well, we'll just go go from there and see what what's what with it. So, I'd appreciate it if you folks would ring that bell so you can take and uh, receive notifications give us a like and a thumbs up and subscribe and we appreciate you watching and until next time